a lot today, but played pretty darn well. How, what's your assessment of the defense? Uh, just guys want to fight for each other, you know, uh, taking a task at hand is getting to us and uh, making the most of it. I, I think um, nobody wavered. Uh, everybody was locked in. Everybody never had a doubt that we would lose this game all the way to the, to the last second. Just, just making sure that we made the plays that came to us, uh, missed some, but made most of them. You know, I'm, I'm proud of my guys. I'm, I'm ready to get back to work. What did you like most about just, I mean, obviously the, the grit and the determination by the defense was great, but scheme wise, what did you like about how you executed today? Um, I like how we made most of the plays that came to us and, and we were physical today uh, and we, we matched the physicality well. And I think um, um, nobody was nervous. Nobody was thinking that the moment was too big. Uh, I mean, Trey had a hell of a day. I mean, uh, made many plays. Uh, he always will. I mean, I'm so, I'm just so proud of the guys, and I keep it like that, really. Is this Hill's uh, cleanest game, you think, you know, four games in? Or cleanest or most physical, just you know, best overall performance so far? Um, I say defensively it was uh, definitely got to make some improvements, but I, I say that we played. We started out fast. We started out well, and – and uh, just just making sure that and that was the real the real goal this 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 week is making sure it's just starting fast, and uh, I think we did that well and I think um, we can look at the tape, look at the film and, and and see our effort and be and be okay with that and and obviously just just got to make sure that we fix the mistakes. Is is starting fast what y'all have been missing defensively and and Definitely. what sort of led to that today? Yeah, uh, just the preparation between between the uh, <clears throat> the days throughout the week. Um, that's definitely, I think that was what's holding us back as a defense, just not start fast. And um, I think we did that well today. So. How physically challenging because of the heat in particular, uh, really late, late in the first half when they had a couple <coughs> of really long drives, how tough was that today? I mean, it was tough. You really got to dig deep. Um, um, just just fight, really. And, I, and that's what we were saying on, on the sideline. Everybody to make sure that uh, we continue to fight uh, no matter how many plays we give. And, uh, we continue to just make them, you know, and uh, give our best each play. Did y'all prepare for both quarterbacks? We didn't know until kickoff who, which guy was starting, but did y'all kind of prepare during the week to see either quarterback? Uh, they weren't really that different as play style wise. They both pocket passers, not big runners, but they can both run a little bit. So uh, I think uh, we would just prepare for both of them for sure. Mike said he came over to visit the defensive huddle a few times to try to cheerlead and he realized he didn't need to. Yeah. Where did that come from with the defense today, just keeping the spirits up like you guys are able to do? Um, how tight-knit we are and how much of a family we are and how uh, it's not it's not just rah rise you guys are really believing in, you know, believing in each other, you know, making sure that we don't get down, you know, control what we can control and making sure that we step up to the plate each play. Is it important that you guys don't get whenever the offense isn't rolling that you guys don't get frustrated at them to, that you stay cohesive throughout the team? Definitely, I mean it's just making sure that we focus on what we can control and uh, and uh, knowing that the offense is going to get it right eventually. You know, sometimes they don't start fast, sometimes we don't start fast. You know, uh, we just got to be that shoulder to lean on. You know, as a, as a family, as brothers. So. Trey's been playing well all year, but mm -hmm. the performance he put today did did he? Did he get better? Did he kind of step up and, and take it to a new level today? I think he's he's, he's been taking steps each week. You know, I mean, I'm excited for him. You know, how, how good of a player he is in his future. I mean, he's a hell of a player. So, after last year, where do you you know how do you guys handle this loss? You know, after what you guys went through last year, uh, have a short term memory. You know, making sure that we look at the tape and seeing the good things and seeing the bad things, and make sure we get them corrected. And um. And knowing that it's it's one game season conference, you know uh, these games these games matter, and it, we gotta have short term memory and be on to the next. Two more for Nick. Can y'all gain confidence the, defensively from how you played today? I think so. I mean, uh, the confidence in how close we stayed, the confidence in, the confidence in uh, how nobody wavered in their fighting. You know, uh, I'm just so proud of uh, how we finished the game and how we continue to fight. So. I know you guys just finished, but. Next week, you guys figured Utah K-State, the star conference play, was going to be big. Definitely. Does this even add to, as you think about next week going to K-State after a loss today? What do you mean? Just add to sort of how big that game could be for you guys or will be for you guys? Uh, I think it's just approaching each week like, like it's the biggest game, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, not letting 
the moment getting too big and making sure that we just showing up and, and playing our best ball this game. Thanks, guys. Oh.